All right, so today we are going to be taking on the new Infinite Dragon Ball History stage on Global, which is Stage 17 versus Infinite, or sorry, uh, Bond of Master and Disciple. And the team we're running is also a Bond of Master and Disciple team because one of the missions requires you to have at least three units from this category. There's also supposed to be another mission for the Entrusted Will category, which uh, we don't have on Global right now because the category does not currently exist on this side. Although, we should be getting it soon since the next Dokkan Fest unit is going to be the uh, AGL Transforming Trunks, who is the leader for the Entrusted Will category. But anyways, this is the team. We got the uh, Int Future Gohan. The friend is an LR Gohan and Trunks, who I unfortunately did not pull, but that's fine. And also the Tech LR Gohan, the LR SSB Vegeta AGL LR Gohan, uh, Fizz Piccolo, and the AGL Kid Gohan. And on this first rotation, we have the Int Gohan and the LR together, which is perfect. And we can give them nine orbs. So that should be a guaranteed additional super, I believe. Let me just quickly check on that. Uh, yeah, launches an additional super attack with eight or more key spheres obtained. So at least two supers from this guy, over 200,000 defense, very solid. And we'll just give these other guys a few orbs as well. Although I feel like the LR will probably finish off Roshi by themselves. Let's see, okay, so five mil for the first super. Dope animation. Did not hit as hard as I was expecting actually. I thought their 18 key would have done a little bit more. That was a little bit disappointing, but that's fine. Still good damage. I'm not trying to hate on this unit just because I couldn't pull it, <laughs> you know? But uh, yeah, our LR Gohan will finish things off here. And we'll move on to the next stage, which is... Honestly, I have no idea. Um, maybe future Gohan. Although I think he's later. Okay, we got Kid Goku. Kid Goku. Okay, so for this rotation, um, we have the Piccolo, so we can see where the super attacks are coming, so I'm definitely going to put the AGL Gohan there to take that super, and yeah, I guess we'll keep Gohan and SSB together for now, although it's not the best rotation. It's, um, it's alright. Alright. I'll probably, obviously, try to get the two LR Gohans together, so it's going to be uh, AGL Gohan and Tech Gohan on this rotation, and then for the other one, obviously the uh, Future Gohan and the LR Gohan and Trunks. Alright, so we took 12k there. I think we'll be alright with that. <laughs> we can live with that. Alright, so yeah, we're doing, we're doing okay. As you guys know, the Infinite Dragon Ball History stage is not traditionally known to be that difficult, although... You know, some stages are harder than others, but for the most part, it's relatively easy compared to, like, the Legendary Goku event, the Legendary Vegeta event, Extreme Super Battle Road, and so on and so forth. I am very curious, actually, about the new Red Zone event on JP. Um, that's the one with... Ooh, hold on. Give me one sec. Should I keep the AGL Kid Gohan? I kind of want to. I kind of want to, but I also want to give most of the orbs to the LR, so I could just give these, or just give one to the Kid Gohan, but I don't want to break up the future Gohan. <laughs> it's tough, man. It's tough. Okay, you know what? We are going to keep the LR and the future Gohan together and just float the Kid Gohan, because, you know, at this point, a lot of you guys have seen what the Kid Gohan can do, but maybe some people are still not as familiar with the LR since they're the newest unit on Global. So I think it make I think it makes more sense to showcase them a little bit more here. So yeah, great tanking there. Only 13k from the super. Um, their damage, once again, I was maybe expecting a little bit more from a rainbowed Gohan and Trunks. It's not bad though, because the the additional guaranteed super definitely, you know, helps with their damage a lot. And you can get a third super potentially, which we did not get, but there is the chance. Um, but yeah, I just thought their initial super maybe would have done a little bit more. 
But we didn't have any supports too, so I guess it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I maybe am a little bit salty about how many stones I spent on their stupid double rates banner to not get them. But that's besides the point. Yeah, that is. That is besides the point. Um, should I pop the act? No, that's not to save that. We have type disadvantage here, so it's kind of a waste. <laughs> but going back to what I was saying before, um, yeah, the red zone event on JP, I haven't had a chance to actually test it out because my JP account is pretty limited, so I don't have like the teams to actually take that on. But I want to know if like it's harder than Infinite Dragon Ball History or how it compares to Legendary Goku event or Extreme Super Battle Road or the uh, Gods event from last year. Like, is it on the same level? Is it harder? I'm curious, guys. So let me know in the comments if you guys are JP players and you actually were able to beat those events. Where would you rank it among, like, the end game content in the game? Right? Oh, 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 okay. We got the transformation here. Got the transformation for the Int Future Gohan. Almost never get to see this. It's pretty exciting, I gotta say. Um, now, the thing that sucks is we can't transform these guys, which would have been perfect to have the double Future Gohans. Um, I think you have to be below 58% HP to activate it, which kind of sucks. Because I don't know if that's actually going to happen in this run. So... All right, it is what it is. Um, let's do, I guess we'll leave everyone where they are since we have type disadvantage with the Int Gohan. And uh, let's see what damage, like how his damage looks like. Cause it's been literally, I don't know, like a year since I've seen this transformation. So I don't even remember exactly what he can do. Okay, so as you can see, the uh, attack has taken a sig significant hit since we didn't get uh, a certain number of key spheres. I forgot what the actual like buff to key spheres is, but only two mil there. And then my int future Gohan only got two mil as well. So that was not the best uh, turn right there. Not not the best showcase for those guys. I gotta say. Okay. Um. Let's see, I'm gonna put the AGL Gohan there, and let's give him an 18 key super. And then that's also gonna be a 24 key super for the tech. <clears throat> My bad, for the tech super, or sorry, for the tech Gohan. And I'm gonna drink some water because clearly my throat is very dry. Oh my God. Oh, that was dangerous. Guys, I almost dropped this massive water bottle, which is like still half full. I caught it though. I caught it though, so we're fine. But that would have been a disaster, man. I got my all my equipment here, right? My Ocado is right there, so that would have been fried. My, my Switch is right beside it. Got the two monitors. Got my keyboard and mouse, obviously, right here. My phone. Yeah, actually, my phone would have been fine. <laughs> the phone is pretty waterproof. But everything else, I think, would have been screwed. So that would have been a really bad time. I'm just really clumsy today, guys. I don't know what it is. Like, you can ask Taya, like Android 18, about this morning. The first thing that I did when I came downstairs yesterday, or uh, this morning, was um, she has, like, this little container of sesame seeds that she uses for cooking. She likes to have sesame seeds in, like, a lot of her food. And, dude, I came downstairs and immediately just knocked it over and, like, spilled sesame seeds all over the place. And then uh, right after... Right after, I was reaching to get like a protein bar or whatever. I forgot exactly what it was, but there's a um, like jug of water on the counter that actually uh, my parents were keeping some roses in, right, from Valentine's Day. And uh, I reached over and just knocked the, the water jug right over. And that was a mess too. And then, you know, everything got wet. We had to throw away a bunch of stuff. So, I don't know what it is this morning, man. Maybe it's like the special day, you know, it's February 22nd. So, 02, 22, 22, right, for 2022. And it's a Tuesday, too. So, maybe that's messing me messing me up. Like, I don't really believe in a lot of this superstition stuff. But something's going on. 
I can't explain it, but something weird is going on where I'm just knocking stuff, you know, like over and everywhere today. And uh, maybe I should just go back to bed to avoid more disaster. So after this video, I'm probably just going to stop doing things for the rest of the day. I was going to do a workout, but given my track record today, I think that's a bad idea because I'm probably going to like knock over a barbell and like crush my feet or something like that. I don't know, like broke, break my hand, um, you know, on a dumbbell or something like that. So it's just, it seems to be a bad day for me. And I know <laughs> you guys did not <laughs> come here to hear me rant, but you know, that's just how it, how it is, man. Sometimes I just like get on a tangent and I can't stop talking about it like right now. Um, but yeah. You know, we're still doing well in this in this run. It's not it's not really a hard event, so I'm not too concerned about it. But man, I am worried about what the rest of my day is gonna look like. Because it's not been off to a great start. But the cool thing is, as I said, it's a special day, right? Apparently this is like the first time in I guess 200 years or something like that, where the days have lined up like this. 0202, or sorry, 0222, 22 on a Tuesday. So, yeah, I mean, to some people it might be special, maybe to some others, you don't care, that's fine too. It's just kind of cool, or I thought it was kind of cool, until crazy stuff started happening to me today, man. Some, something weird is happening. Anyways, let's uh, get back to the, <laughs> the, the event run here. Let's try to focus on what we're doing in the game right now. Um, I would really like to fall below... 58% HP to get the future Gohan exchange, but just seeing like the defense for all these units and everything, I don't think it's actually gonna happen, guys. I don't think it's actually gonna happen. Like at this point, we have so many units that are so tanky that I mean, the chances of us taking enough damage to get below that threshold is uh, pretty low. It's, it's, it's pretty low. <sighs> well, we'll see, we'll see. I'll try, you know what, I'll try to start putting units with like type disadvantages in front of a lot of attacks to maybe, you know, lose some HP that way. But the concern with that is also, what if I accidentally die? <laughs> you know, we make it near the end of the event. I think there's only two stages left. And then we just die, like that would be unfortunate too. Um, okay, well, yeah, no, I don't think I can do that. I don't think I can do that, because look, if I put the uh, Piccolo there, we'll probably take a lot of damage from that super attack, but <sighs> what if it kills us? Is it worth the risk? We've, we've already made it so far. Yeah, okay. Screw it, let's go for it, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we take just enough damage, but not so much where um, I have to do this video all over again, because that would make me very sad. I hate it when like, I, I go through literally 90% of the event, and then we just die. And it's not even like a hard event either. I'm just trying to make it a little bit more interesting. But if that ends up getting us killed, yeah, that would really suck. That would really, really suck. So fingers crossed. Piccolo comes through for us. And just, you know, gets hit, it gets hit hard enough where we can get the Gohan transformation. Ooh. Oh, this is good. This is perfect. This is perfect. Okay, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. So, as long as we stay below 58%, I think we are at around 40% at the moment, right? Around 40%, yeah. Um, we should be fine. So, I'm going to get no type or same type orbs here. And, yeah, we'll get that Gohan transformation for the last stage. Although, we'll have type disadvantage in the last stage. I think Beerus is the last boss who is tech type. But it's fine. It's fine. I want to see the um, 
revival skill from Gohan, so I'm gonna try to get him killed. Maybe put him in front of a super if we can. That'd be dope. But first we have to get through Whis, which uh, will be pretty easy once we get the Gohan transformation. Yeah, that was perfect. That actually worked out really, really nicely. <laughs> Ooh, another super here. This should do no damage, because Gohan, I think, is really tanky at this point. There you go. 35. Alright. Alright, guys. Alright, guys. It's time. It is time. Let's go. Boom. Oh. I forgot that uh, <laughs> I turned off active skill animations to save time for farming. Uh, that sucks. That sucks. Okay, well, anyways, that's still going to be a 24 key super for the future Gohan. And we're getting four, four links, so we should see... Some pretty decent attack numbers here. Some pretty decent damage numbers. 5.8. Okay. There you go. 4.7 crit. And now we're on Beerus. Okay, so on this stage, I'm going to... Put him there, and I'm a little bit concerned. I'm gonna pop a Princess Snake because I'm not sure how much that super is gonna do to the tech Gohan. Obviously, he's okay on defense, but not amazing defensively. So, yeah, I think the Princess Snake is definitely a good idea. Yeah, this Gohan is still really impressive after all this time. He's like a decently old unit, right? Like, he's been out for what, like two years now? And the numbers he's putting up, still really good. Oof. Wow, that was with the Princess Snake. So that was a good call. <laughs> that was, that was, that was smart on my end. And next turn, I'll probably... Hmm... I mean, you do have the Revival skill available, right? So... Um... I guess we... Yeah, let's not pop an item. Maybe... I wonder how much damage we'll take, actually, from these attacks. <clears throat> Don't dodge that, come on. Ooh, 52k, I like that. 52k is good. Okay. Are we gonna take a super though? Is the question. 52. 50, okay. Hmm, alright. I guess next turn, what I should do is... I'm trying to see how to play this, because I want to get the revival skill really bad. But I can't afford to die next turn, so... Should I heal back up with a... Uh... Princess Snake, or should I pop a Whis? But then Whis will actually carry over to the next turn. Which is not what I want. So I guess we'll Princess Snake again here. And yeah, okay. Oh, hold on. Wow, yo, but Tech Gohan only has forty-two thousand defense, so I guess Beerus lowered our defense because that's the only thing that makes sense. Okay, um, we're not gonna put him there. Let's let's do this. Yeah, let's put SSB in that first slot. And, oh crap, I did not mean to get those same type orbs. <laughs> we'll figure something out. I think if we get super next turn, Gohan will definitely die. And that will allow us to see the revival skill. Probably. Probably. 
as you can tell, I haven't used this unit a lot, right? Because it kind of hurts me to see him every time, so like I never really pick him as a friend lead. Except for this video, because I wanted to make it, you know, a little bit more fun for you guys. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit, man, to get the survival skill going. <laughs> we just need Beerus to super us next turn. And if we can see that super, which we should with Piccolo on the next rotation, then uh, I'll make sure to put him in front of that super attack and give us that revival skill. Unless we kill Beerus this turn, which is possible. Oh no, we're fine, we're fine, okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Here we go, oh, the super's at the end. The super is at the end. I mean, it doesn't really matter who gets killed, right? As long as um, it's on the rotation. Uh Oh, no. When the character is KO'd. No, it has to be him that gets KO'd? Forgot about that. Okay, uh, let's try this then. Let's try this. We'll put... We'll put him at the end. We're going to see the revival skill, but we're not going to... We're not going to be able to use him after that, but at least we get to see the revival skill animation. So well, that's something. I guess. You know what, today's just been a mess, man. This is just... It shouldn't be a surprise that I'm struggling this much. You know, I'm struggling this much to get just the revival skill animation to go off. It's been a mess of a day. Let's just get through this video. Are we gonna kill him? Oh my god, we're gonna kill him. We're gonna kill him. Oh! Good, good. Okay, kill me, please. Kill me. Well, that wasn't exactly how I wanted to end things, but I just decided to pop the active skill, you know, just get it over with, put myself out of my misery, because <laughs> nothing is going the way I want it to today, man. Nothing is going the way I want it to, and I'm, I'm just done. I'm done. I give up. Let's just get this video done. I'm going to collect all my stones. And uh, like I said, guys, there should be one more mission that's coming with the um, entrust is it entrusted will category, I believe, for uh, Trunks when he comes out. So make sure to do it to the event again, you know, for that mission. But uh, otherwise, I hope you guys uh, are doing well today. You know, look out for yourselves because apparently it's, it's it's dangerous out there. Um, <laughs> thank you guys, man, for watching the video. Good luck on your runs. Let me know how you did, what your best time was. I think mine was like 21 minutes or so. So if you beat me, congratulations. Um, and as always, yeah, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time. Have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.